Welcome to the Tree Park Connection. We're Tommy. This video is on your impact spoilers and results from this week of October 29th through part of December. Thanks to Mr. Eddie G for the results on from the 27th to 28th. 80s edition of throw, uh, throwback edition of Impact. If Impact, if Impact uh, existed in 1983. As the ring announcer explained, from Don Kolov, Arena in Mississauga, Ontario, Impact was branded as the Impact Provincial Wrestling Federation. Dave and Jake Crisp from OVE defeated PD Ricky Williams and L. Reverso. OVE won when Jake and Reverso had a reverse, Reverso in a wheelbarrow position and Jake gave him a running cutter. And that was for an explosion match. Brett Banks defeated the Saturday Night Delight, Tyler Trevor, for another explosion match. Cowboy Colt McCoy, which is Eddie Edwards dressed as a cowboy, defeated Karu. Colt won with a cutter. Uh, he's a tag touch match, and a fireball is thrown in his face. Didn't recognize the guy or his manager. Thanks, the reporter. Uh, Rapid Delivery Pizza Pete, a.k.a. Rich Swan, defeated Razor. Uh, none other than Ace Austin. Razor was dressed at, uh, with a punk rocker with a purple mohawk and a spiked dog collar. As Pete was dressed as a uh, pizza delivery man, Pete won with a running splash. The Ice Man set up for an interview outside the ring with Julian, a.k.a. Ethan Page who was the International Commonwealth TV Champion, and his manager, Sonny Sanderson, a.k.a. Sammy Callahan, who was just in a suit with a tennis racket. Very uh, very similar to uh, Jim Cornette. I set up for another interview with the executive force, Falaba and D'Lo Brown, versus hard workers Oates and Hall, Co uh, Cody and Cousin Jake, the Deaners. Uh, they set up the hard workers versus excessive force. Cody and Cousin Jake defeated Follow Ma and D'Lo Brown. Uh, D'Lo Brown is actually an a agent. So I guess he returned to wrestling for that episode. Excessive force attacked Hall afterwards and ruined the hard workers' top, top hats. Johnny Swinger defeated Mar Mark Gunderson. Swinger one was swinging neckbreaker. Jazzy Fit Body, aka Madison Rain, defeated Agnes Deerhart, aka Alicia Edwards. Uh, Jazzy one with a second rope splash. The Hitmaker, Sebastian Baker, aka Jimmy Jacobs, tried to get Jazzy to sign a contract to become a manager. And Jazzy does, but low blows Baker and rips up the contract. Uh, the Rough Riders of Tesla Blanchard and jo Jordan Grace, Jessica Havoc, and Casey Spinelli, who were dressed as a tough, bi as tough biker girls, defeated Tim, Josh Ale Alexander, dressed as a lumberjack, Mr. Jim, Nassium, Nassium, Dez dressed up as high school gym teacher, Phil Game, Trey as a construction worker, and Jim, Wentz dressed as a race car driver. Tessa Penn, Jim Wentz with a buzzsaw DDT in a fun match. Body Slam Challenge, a Congo Kong, aka $300,000 man, was out to see who could slam him and receive $2,000. A guy, a, gay, a guy named Ali tried his luck, but he couldn't do it. The jackpot was pushed up to $3,000. Mr. Atlantis tried next, but he couldn't get Congo he couldn't, and Congo threw him out of the ring. Muscle McGee, aka Brian Cage, came out just up, just as a Canadian track suit and said he won here for the money. Sam Kong then took the gym bag with the $3,000. DJ Too Large, aka Moose, dressed as a rapper with gold, gold chains, kind of like Mr. T, defeated. Captain Joystick. 
It's a uh, AKA Joey Ryan dressed as an airplane pilot with Miss Mile High, AKA Carol Hogan dressed as a stewardess. Moose tried to chop Joey in the lower regions and acted like he almost broke his hand. Joey brought a chair in the ring while the referee was distracted and fake being hit, but DJ put it around his neck. The referee threatened to disqualify the captain, so he removed the chair and walked right into a, a discus clothesline from DJ to get the win. Cowboy Colt McCoy defeated Gama Singh with Raj Singh in a blindfold match. Cowboy Colt won with a cutter. Iceman interviewed Colt in the ring afterwards, but he was attacked by two Russian wrestlers, Mike Elgin and Madman Fulton. Uh, Scott D. Moore got in the ring and demanded they stop, but they attacked him and put Russian flags on both of them. Iceman interfered. Scott outside the, the ring afterwards. Iceman interviewed Scott outside the ring afterwards. Scott said he and, Holt and Colt will wrestle the Russians ne next week. Muscles McGee, Bri aka Brian Cage, and Aiden Prince defeated the Soviets, Michael Elgin and Madman Fulton. Fulton got a mic and was about to sing the Russian national anthem, but attacked the baby faces with it. Muscles got Fulton to submit with a torture rack. It was a costume contest with a Macho Man, Tommy Dreamer, a mini Scott D'Amour, Moore, a mini Don Callis, and a mini Enzo. Macho Man was declared as a winner. Downtown Danny Brown, aka Willie Mack, defeated Julian, aka Ethan Page, as champion, with Sonny Sanderson, aka Sammy Callahan, for the Intercontinental Commonwealth TV title. Then came with Sonny is holding Danny in the ropes. Julian charges, but Danny moves and he hits Sonny. Danny rolls up Julian to win the TV title. The faces come down to celebrate with Danny. Sanderson gets in Danny's face and says they're never leaving town, and Danny hits him with a, with a stunner. And now for your actual TV taping from the 25th from Windsor, Ontario, Canada at St. Clair College. Uh, this will air this week when Impact debuts, premieres on Access TV. Actually, they, they premiered last week. Sammy Callahan defeated Brian Cage as champion. They started off the tapings with pinfalls being allowed in the cage. All kinds of near falls here. Sammy at one point did three cactus specials in a row. But Cage kicked out. Cage with a big F5. But that wasn't enough. Cage went for a drill claw. But Sammy reversed it into a sunset flip for another two count. It, it ends when Cage is caught up on the top rope. And Sammy gives him a super cactus special for the clean pin. OVE was around for the entire match. After the match, Tessa Blanchard had a face off of Callahan. He gave her the middle finger and left the ring. Rosemary, Jordan Grace, and uh, Alexia Nicole defeated Taya Valkyrie with John E. Bravo. By the way, that was for your championship, so Cam Sammy Callahan is your new champion. Okay, back to back to Rosemary, Jordan Grace, and Alexia Nicole defeating Taya Valkyrie with Johnny e. Bra Johnny e. John E. Bravo, Madison Rain, and Kira Hogan. Thomas Singh was out. Next, he criticized the crowd for booing him because of how how he was dressed before introducing Rohit Raju and Raj Singh, who will be taking on Willie Mack and Rich Vaughn. Rich Vaughn and Willie Mack defeated the Desi Hit Squad. Daga defeated Jake Crisk. El Reverso, Aiden Prince, and Idris Abraham defeated Johnny Swinger and Reno Scum. Naomichi Marufuji defeated Josh Alexander with Ethan Page in his corner. Great physical match with Mara Fuji getting a win. He offers to shake Josh's hand afterwards, but Paige tries to stop him. Alexander extended his hand to accept, but he, pu he, but he pulled away. He and Ethan leaves as Mar Mara Fuji pointed at them as a warning. Ace Austin defeated Eddie Edwards in a street fight. Eddie got the early, early advantage with trash can lids. Now, strikes as Reno's come came down to inter interfere after all it is a no disqualification in a street fight. But Eddie took care of them quick quickly. Ace got a hold of Kenny 
and broke it up, broke it over his knee, which Eddie calls, Eddie calls a snap, Eddie got set up a table and was going to put Ace through it, but Ace a lot uh, loaded his wristband with a, with the metal bar he always always been using. Hit Eddie with it and put Eddie through at the table for the win. Maguire Elgin defeated Paul Ball. Another great back and forth match. Elgin eventually got Paul Ball to tap out quickly in the crossface. Well, Ken Shamrock arrived to a nice ovation. Ken said he was very disappointed with his performance against Moose. Shamrock was about to make a decision about his future, and then Joey Ryan interrupted. Ken calls Joey a gimmick. Joey asks why uh, Ken is afraid to, to touch it, referring to his penis area. And he's afraid to tap, tap out if he did. Ken says he wasn't here to retire, but will take anyone out who gets in his, in his way. They agreed to a match next week, and they go to shake hands, but Joey tried to bring uh, Ken's hand on it. Ken goes to attract Joey as Joey retreats. They will face each other later on. Explosive match, P.D. Williams defeated Jur Sender Singh with Raj Singh and Rohit Raju. After the match, Singh attacked the, attacked the referee who has no legs and has done some training at Scott D.M. Moore's can -Am Wrestling School. Williams made the save. The ref got, gave Singh a top rope 450 splash. Taya Valkyrie and Johnny Bravo defeated Matt the ring. After the match, Jordan Grace attempted to attack Valkyrie, but she used Bravo as a shield, so Grace beat him up instead. Moose defeated Willie Mack. Moose manages to survive with a big spirit of win. Very good, good match. New Impact World Champion Callahan is down with all of OVE, and they had some bottles of liquor with him on the stage to begin. Sammy says he didn't like his intro and told Jake to do it. Who called his best friend and the new Impact World Champion? Sammy bra brags about how they've been partying all week across the USA. Tommy Dreamer comes down, says Sammy and OVE are just bullies. Sammy calls Tommy Mr. Fat Dreamer and challenges him, him, him to get in the ring. Tommy proposes a four on four extreme match. Tommy Dreamer, Rich Swan, Daga, and Tessa Blanchard defeated OVE. Swan rolled up Sammy for the win in the extreme match. That's probably for next week. Most of those are next week because of the fact uh, how they did it. Uh, this week, uh, Shamrock opened up the show with Joy Ryan. Uh, thank your second night of taping from the 26th. Thanks to Mr. Eddie G for Impact Wrestling. Spoilers from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, St. Clair College. Follow Ball defeated Dave Chris. Follow wins with a bonsai drop. Good opener. Explosion match. El Reverso defeated Saturday Night Delight. Tyler Trevor. El Reverso wins with a perfect picture perfect. Top rope moonsault. With a good back and forth match. For explosion match. Madman Fulton and Sammy Callahan defeated Rich Swan and Tessa Blanchard. Tessa was introduced last and, and just charged the ring before her entry was finished. Swan was in the ring for a very long time before attacking out. Sammy tried to get his baseball bat, which was in his corner along with the title. But the referee takes it away from him. While the referee is doing that, Fulton tossed Sammy his title and he nails Swan with it and got the pin. After the match, Fulton and Sammy kept attacking Rich after the bell. Tessa came in to help, but she got beat up too. But then Brian Cage comes out to chase off the heel. Uh, there was a segment they did on this week's Impact with Follow Ball backstage. And they actually put him some glasses on and he became talkable. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, not smart and he could talk. Uh, next we got, uh, Trey defeated Rahu, uh, Rohit Raju, Aiden Prince, uh, Brent Banks, Willie Mack, and Petey Williams in a six-way number one contender match for the X Division title. Trey won after Petey hit a Canadian destroyer on Rohit and had the pin. Trey rolled up Petey from behind and stacked him up for the pin. Petey raised Trey's hand after the match. 
Yeah, it's sportsmanship. Uh, Johnny Swinger defeated Mark Gunderson. Swinger wins a quick match with a swinging neck breaker. Ken Shamrock came down after the match and unprovoked attacked Johnny. Then put him in an ankle lock. Match the ring with Kira Hogan in her corner, who had her left arm in a sling, defeated Alexia Nicole. Rain won with a order finisher. Good effort from Alexia. All ego Ethan Page and the walking weapon. Josh Alexander defeated Eddie Edwards and Mara Fuji. The referee was useless in this match. He didn't enforce any double teaming or getting men out of the ring when they tagged out. Mara Fuji was the star of this match with his tremendous kicks and knee strikes. The North won with a fireman's carry into a spine buster finish onto Eddie. Jessica Havoc defeated Crystal, who was a local wrestler from Windsor. Jessica dominated the match and put Crystal away with a tombstone power drop. Jordan Grace defeated John E. Bravo and Taylor Valkyrie in a two-on-one match. Taylor walked out on Bravo during the match. Johnny tried to distract Grace with a, a new Steph dog on a leash as Taylor brings brought with her, but Jordan slapped it away and finishes off Bravo with a Grace driver. And that match was actually on this week's show. Wentz and Dad defeated Rohit Raju and Raj Singh. The Deaners, Cody and Cousin Jake, and Reno Scum. The Rascals win when Wentz hit an assisted standing moonsault onto Cousin Jake. Reno Scum attacked the Rascals afterwards. Trey comes in to help, but Ace Austin interferes. Ace loads up his forearm with a metal bar, and Reno Scum are holding Trey as he nails him in the face. I think that also was this week, so... Ken Shamrock defeated Joey Ryan. No, nope, that was that's next week's show. As Joey with his usual lollipop shenanigans to begin. Joey and Ken high five each other to begin the match. Fans can't touch it. Joey eventually got Ken to touch it and did his P flex. Shamrock was disgusted with it and was holding his hand in rage. He got Joey in the ankle lock and Joey quickly tapped out. Tessa Blanchard won a gauntlet match to determine the next number one contender. For the Impact World World Title, Moose and Naga were out first. Moose wins with a with the go to hell. Rich Swan was next, and he pulled pulled out the win with a crucifix pin. Next was Michael Elgin. Elgin had several near falls and applied a crossface. Rich got to the ropes to break it. Elgin was more frustrated as the match went on and shoved the referee accidentally when he tried to get Elgin out of the corner when he was hitting Rich. Elgin again went back back to the corner, and the ref counted to five, but Elgin wouldn't stop. And again, he shoved the referee to the ground and was disqualified. He wouldn't leave and powerbombed Swan before the ref, referees got him to stop and took him to the back. Brian Cage was out next. The referee checked on, on Rich, who was bleeding from his mouth and unsteady, unsteady on his feet, and asked Swan if he wanted to continue. Swan did and got two two close air falls with a 450 from the second row and another 450 from, from the top. He tried for a Phoenix Flash, but missed and Cage won with a gory bomb. An, un, an official had to help Rich to the back. A reporter was near the ramp on the left side and heard the wrestlers applauding Rich. He lasted about 30 minutes in his three matches and had a hell of a, hell of a performance. The last participant was Tessa Blanchard. And they held nothing at all back. Tessa got two close air falls with a buzz all DDT and the Blanchard. But uh, it, was, it wasn't was enough. Cage had an air fall with an F5. He went for the gory bomb, but Tessa reversed it into a Canadian destroyer and won the match. They hugged after the match, and Tessa celebrated to end the, mat, end, end the night. And that concludes my, my results for the spoilers for Impact Wrestling. Thanks, and peace out. So going over here. If you don't know, just call me, brothers and sisters.